Lachlan Moore McLean. Sir Lachlan Moore McLean, 1558-5 August 1598, or Big Lachlan McLean, was the 14th clan chief of Clan MacLean from late 1573 or early 1574 until 1598. More or more translates as big in English or Magnus in Latin, when added to a name in Scottish Gaelic. Life. He was born in 1558 to Ichuan Og MacLean. Sir Lachlan became the 14th MacLean clan chief at the death of his father in 1573 or 1574. He was called Big Lachlan, both on account of his stature and the greatness of his mind. He was the most accomplished and warlike chief that ever held sway in Duart. His military talents were of a very high order. His chivalrous character commanded the respect of his most inveterate foes, and his personal interest for and kindness toward his followers endeared him to his clansmen. So great were his qualities that historians have been forced to pay tribute to his memory. In June 1588, he was charged with massacring 18 members of the MacDonald clan who attended the wedding party of his mother, Janet Campbell, and his new stepfather, John Mac Cain, in April 1588 at Torloisk. John Mac Cain of Ardmerchen was imprisoned and tortured. Because he failed to appear to answer the charges, he was denounced as a rebel. In September 1588, a ship from the Spanish Armada carrying 300 troops and silver plate for the use of noblemen was wrecked or run aground on the coast of Isla or Mull. Lachlan sent news of the ship to James V.I. at Stirling Castle. Lachlan became friends with the crew and borrowed two cannon and one hundred soldiers to besiege the house of Angus Mac Olley, leaving a hostage as a pledge. After this, a man called John Smollett set a fuse made of lint in the gunpowder store and blew the ship up. In October 1588, he gathered together a force against the MacDonalds and Clan Ranald, including one hundred Spanish soldiers, and invaded the Isles of Cana, Rum, Eig, and Elenol, and besieged the castle of Ardna Merchant. Clean fought for James V.I. at the Battle of Glenlivet in October 1594 against the rebels Catholic Earls of Huntley and Errol. In August 1595 he wrote to the English ambassador in Edinburgh, Robert Bowes, to thank him for the 1,000 French crowns Queen Elizabeth was sending him, and to discuss the recruitment of Scottish men to fight in Ireland against the Earl of Tyrone. The Earl of Argyll brought him to the king at Inchmarin on Loch Lomond in August 1596, and he was received in royal favor and went hawking with the king. He was forgiven of all his former alleged offences by James V.I. of Scotland in person at Holyrood Palace on 15 June 1596. Marriage and Children He married Lady Margaret Cunningham of Glencairn, daughter of William Cunningham, 6th Earl of Glencairn. They had the following children. Hector Og Maclean, 15th Clan Chief. Lachlan Og Maclean, first laird of Torloisk. Gillian Maclean, married to Mary the Elder, daughter of John Dove Maclean of Morvern. Alan Maclean, married to Mary the Younger, daughter of John Dove Maclean of Morvern. Charles Maclean. Ethag Maclean, married to Hector Maclean of Lochbuie, ninth chief. Death. He died on 5 August 1598 in the Battle of Trade G. H. Ruineert on the island of Isla. He was killed by the forces of Sir James MacDonald, 9th of Dunivik. His remains were left on the battlefield. A day or two after the battle, it is said that two women, of whom different accounts are given some calling them strangers, some clanswomen, some relations of the dead grieving to think that the body of so notable a chief as Sir Lachlan Moore should be unburied and uncared for on the moorland, came from a distance in search of it. They hired a vehicle, the only one to be had in the neighborhood, and having found the corpse, proceeded to carry it to the nearest burying grounds, about six miles distant. The way was rough, 
and the driver looking behind him saw the head of the great chief, which extended beyond the car, nodding to him at every jolt, as if it had life, and were giving him directions. At the next heavy rut he looked again to please his savage soul with ferocious enjoyment. At this time the elder female, who had watched him, acted as described in the ballad, and killed the brutal driver with the chieftain's dagger. Then, along with her companion, she brought the mortal remains of Sir Lachlan to the place where they still lie buried. Sir Lachlan Moore MacLean was buried in the churchyard of Kilchaman on Isla, near the south wall of the church, and over his grave is laid a great stone. There is a churchyard, Kilnave, near the battlefield. Legacy. The plaque that marks the spot where he died says, This cairn indicates the spot where, on the 5th August, 1598, Sir Lachlan Moore MacLean of Duart fell in a desperate encounter with his nephew, Sir James MacDonald of Nacrince. The Battle of Trade G. A. Truineert is the best known incident in the feud between the MacLeans and the MacDonalds for the Rins. Ancestors.